The newest addition to the royal family is stealing hearts all around the world tonight. Buckingham Palace released the first official photos of Princess Charlotte in the last few hours. The one month old's mother took the picture of her being held by her brother, Prince George. It is one of four images taken by the Duchess of Cambridge in mid-May at the family's home in Eastern England. She is adorable. Not everything that can be learned in school comes from a book. At this high school in Oklahoma City, it's what's behind the walls themselves. That is quite the uh, lesson that's being offered there. Contractors were brought in to fix some problems with the walls, but when they started tearing things apart, they found old chalkboards with drawings that dated back to 1917. Well, first of all, I got goosebumps, and then I got tears in my eyes, and then I sit in here and just stared because it's really like, it was like walking into a time capsule. The lessons on the board appear to have been about Thanksgiving and the pilgrims. The school district says it's going to work to preserve the drawings. And what a find there. Really, really neat. It looks to see probably that people still have the same problem with math that we still do to this day. So ah. I'd be one of those strugglers out there myself. What a time capsule though, yes. what a great find. We had a great find in some sunshine that finally came our way. I'll Didn't say. have that this week. Now we're gonna continue that into the forecast, which is great news. Sunday just couldn't be more spectacular. 70s, near 80 degrees for a high temperature. Humidity on the way down. It was up a little bit today. Did you get one of those showers? Only a few did. Most of the shower storms to the eastern shore. Real time temps tonight already into the 60s. Cooler spots where some drier air is already working in. We showed you with those dew point temperatures. Best puts a number on the humidity you can feel. 72. It's Indoor temperatures outside. Here's a bigger picture with temp comparisons. Obviously, the cooler air that's coming in, but there is some heat, there is some humidity that's just southwest. So it's only one day that we get kind of a real nice day. Some relief from at least a little bit of return of the heat and humidity. You could say it's this front that passed through earlier today, but it's going to be what returns as a warm front as soon as tomorrow. We'll show it in the big picture over the next two days. Beautiful Sunday, but then the front's through. And as soon as we go Monday, quickly, will southwest winds ramp up, usher in higher heat, humidity, interacting with a strong cold front by Monday evening. And note that's Monday evening. Storm chances still even this far away, looking to be after the afternoon time period, more after 5 p.m. evening. We start off Sunday morning. We'll get to those storms, but we go to mid to upper 50s to 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, plenty of sunshine, and it's mild. Mild to say we end up at 80 degrees, which means most of the day being spent rising through the 60s, rising through the 70s to get upper 70s towards 80 degrees as well. Back as the forecast game for Nationals, hoping to at least come away with a split from this tomorrow in southeast D.C. Plenty of sunshine, but if you've got seats in right center and right field, the sun getting to that time this night in time period, you're going to need a hat, going to need some sunglasses. That sun's coming directly in your eyes. So if you're one of those, beware and have the have the gear in hand. We've got at least this strong cold front by Monday evening. We've got the likelihood it's the next likeliest round for widespread showers and storms for everybody. We push near 90 degrees with humidity to come in. Strong storms at least and already is at least the lowest elevated risk for possible severe weather via the Storm Prediction Center for Monday. It's a beautiful Sunday. Heat and humidity, storms to return, and once the heat and humidity is back, well, it's going to be here for a while. Could be possibly lower 90s, maybe even lower to mid 90s, some indications, and the next week to the next weekend. Now, we'll watch that one. We won't go that far that quickly. Tomorrow morning, Tour to Cure kicks off. I'll be there in the afternoon to give some of the awards coming in to some of the riders from the longest distance start to come in the early afternoon. Reston Town Center, 78 by the time that wraps up, should be a great event. All that for the American Diabetes Association, the Tour to Cure. Mm -hmm. Beautiful weather today and a beautiful